for making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world and share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. We believe Mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. Huge layout block, unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. A huge quick pass and a great grab there from Spear. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Bichon picks up and they've got a short field. They've got another goal. It's tied up at 12. I can't not believe what goes. I'm seeing Can here. Lola Dam chase that one down? That is a score for Hasliger Elferkel. Fantastic run by Julia Lutz. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. And we believe that that requires knocking down the paywall. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch, and we want them to go viral. When you become a member, you enable us to improve our working relationships with tournament organizers, events and federations. And you'll help us to produce live stories for Ultimate fans and to generate new fans with our enhanced content. We, we are, are a group, group of, of Ultimate, Ultimate players, players, coaches and video enthusiasts and we want to bring you coverage on a more consistent basis. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Ciao ragazzi, support the community. And subscribe Ulti TV. There's lots of the videos, posting, everything. Check it out. <laughs> they are the best one. Woo! If you want to grow Ultimate Sports, uh, become a member of Ulti TV. Regardez Ulti TV. Deviens un membre Ulti TV et fais grandir ta communauté. Top Ulti TV. Follow me. Et regarde me. Ulti me est en droit maintenant. Si tu veux aider à Ulti TV, tu peux être membre de Ulti TV. Everyone, follow Ulti TV on Instagram, on YouTube. They've got everything. Best like, content. Like their pictures if you love free speech. Just do it. We're counting on you. Give me a love for Ulti TV. Became member of Ulti TV. Mamma mia. Contribue au développement d'Ultimate avec Ulti TV. Like and subscribe, Ulti TV, the best in the world. We want to grow ultimate. We want to grow ultimate. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We have our signature style two camera setup. With thousands of hours of experience. And our crew is globally dispersed to facilitate coverage everywhere around the world. We can also scale back our broadcast with just one elevated camera. Or scale up with two fields, two cameras and two commentators on each. We work with local teams and we all have the same mission, to grow the sport and bring it to new people by providing live coverage and new stories. Become a member today on our Patreon page. And, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories, ideas and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond.
Now let's go electric, become a member. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Ulti Ulti. Welcome back to Lithuania, Prinang, the venue for our coverage today from the Open Division of the European Ultimate Indoor Championships. Action from Pool D in the Open Division, Lithuania versus Belgium. The winner tops the pool, gains themselves better seeding going into the quarterfinals tomorrow. For the loser, they are still in the top eight, but of course you want to give yourself the best possible chance of making the finals tomorrow. And the best way of doing that is to top the pool. Both of these sides won both of their games so far today. For Lithuania. That was a 17-7 win over Slovakia. And they beat Austria by the same scoreline, 17-7. Belgium beat Austria 17-5. And Slovakia 17-8 final score. So both of these teams, based on results of this tournament, seem pretty evenly matched. So we could be in for a proper barnstormer. Fingers crossed. It's going to be the Belgians in all black on offense. Lithuania in the white. To begin on defense. And here's that idiosyncratic jump pull from Mendelis to get us underway, but it will tail off out of bounds and Benoit Behin will get the opportunity to begin the game from the brick mark. Both Jonkers brothers out there at the same time, something we didn't really see for the Belgians during their last game against the back. Ref finds Ben Jonkers towards the end zone and Sofiane Bonton just catches the defender with the flattest of feet. And Bontemps on the board for the first goal of the game, going the Belgians' way. 1-0 they lead here over Lithuania. You see there, the swing across, high swing, but not a problem for Ben Jonkers. And the continuation there for Bontemps, who is wide open for the score. I understand there is some other major sporting event going on today. By which I mean you can also catch action from the women's division here at the Galeva Sports Centre. That game, Sweden versus the Netherlands, has just kicked off and you can watch that here on Ulti TV as well. Dovedas Gorba coming underneath. Slobodskoyas. That one. Just had the step there on Descan. Did Vysokis. And it's worked comfortably into, Lithuania, into the Lithuanian end zone for the score. Both sides 
looking very clean on their first offensive possessions. See their Goba clear through. And defenders just on a little on their heels a little bit, Discan. And Slobodskoyas sees the opportunity for the assist through. And Vesokis catches the score. Deleuze catching the pull. A little bit low. Bontom catches with two hands, low to the ground. Centering swing to Yonkers. Oh, a scuba coming down with what would be snow on it, were we not indoors? As it is, it just floats wonderfully into his brother's hands. Ben finds ref, the Yonkers brothers combining. Belgium lead 2 1. Very much a case of just put it up towards the break side. He's got position there. You'd be very, he's one of the best receivers in the game at the moment. You're going to take that matchup every time. Especially if you've got the familiarity that the two brothers would have with each other. Demare with the pull. I think it drops just enough to be taken at the back of the end zone by Vesokis. Ben Yonkers, I think, calling to get high hands on the fourth, maybe. Take the first pass to Salasa Vicious. Dubis comes underneath. Goba being marked by the bouncy Demare. Across to Salasa Vicious. Goba. Low. Sturbis on his knees making the grab. Back to Dovid Ascoba and then into the end zone for Demantas Sturbis. 2 2. Both sides looking good on offense, doing it in very different ways for the Belgians. It's the big shots, getting the air underneath it, and the Lithuanians are taking the air out of it a little bit. Just working it down the field. Not the cleanest catch, but clean enough. Spappen's catching the pull. Takes that one over the top. Doesn't like it though. Delays on the run. Yonkers centers. Behin plays a little one two with Sophie and Bonton. Bladed to Spappens. He's looking at the end zone, faking it on a couple of occasions, but there's no force, so he's like, we can chill, this is fine, not a problem. Ben Yonkers gets a little bit of contact on the mark. Mendalgas Mendelis is matched up against him. A most unenviable matchup. But the best defenders, they really relish those opportunities, don't they? Behin to Spappens. Spappens. Oh, he sees the opportunity. And I'm not sure whether Delace caught that or whether that caught him. Either way, it works for 3 2. You can see the Lithuanians dropping into the end zone, desperately trying to stop those shots in. But they're all focused, drawn towards that far side of the field, maybe. Spots the opportunity and whoop! Oh, it's in there. And I'm sure he's breathing a rather hefty sigh of relief. Spappens to Delays for the score. 3-2 Belgium lead. Lithuanians on offense now. David Ascoba. He's trying to play it around the back at the moment. Wanted the little feed through, didn't find it. Is that undercooked? Maybe a little bit, but coming back towards it. David Ascoba to the end zone and towing it at the back line there that's Ernestas Visokis for his second goal of the game we are tied at three apiece you can see the offensive quality that these sides had as we mentioned generally they're both doing it in different ways this was the first time we really saw the Lithuanians looking over the top and then when they got near the end zone again rather than continue the overhead theme just the player streaking through from behind. Three apiece, the game 
Indoors moves so quickly. Blinken, you'll miss it stuff a lot of the time. Delays to Bonton. Yonkers, great separation. The okie doke, no pivot backhand there. Yonkers again gets clipped by Mendelis as he's coming through. And that stops proceedings for a moment. Getting checked back in. Junkers with a little push into the centre there. Back in his hands now. He's looking at the end zone. Trying to direct traffic there. Spappens outside. Bean. Back to Yonkers. Spappens was just left alone in that front corner of the end zone. Kind of lurking and loitering there. Waiting for the Lithuanians to lose interest. And as soon as they looked the other way, the Belgians recognised and capitalised. Jonkers rolling it around the defence. And there's Belgium just playing the short game a little bit more effectively there for a 4-3 lead. Both sides have numerous strings to their bows. Vicious. Vesokis. Stubis. Oh, thought about the overhead there, Dikoba. Instead, resets to Vesokis. Still count rising, the inside backhand picked off. And there's a foul call. Uncontested by Gaitan Vandenbroek on the mark. That will reset the stall. Salasha Vicious underneath. A little bit of bumping in the reset space. Still count rising, going deep. And off, I think, the wrist of Vysokis. Looking to grab his third goal of the game. A real heater deep. Was able to catch up with it, just couldn't make the catch. Ref Jonkers brings it in. Dan Demare is the target underneath. That is a pick. Ref Jonkers charging deep through traffic. This is a little signal behind his defender's back. But Demare instead into the backfield to Vandenbroek. Jonkers underneath. Swinging. Donne. Back to Vandenbroek. Here's Demare. Jonkers one-on-one -on -one in the end zone, and other miscommunication. The scuba goes one way, Jonkers went the other. And Modesta Scuba will just happily slap that one to the floor. Second opportunity for the Lithuanians. That is a delicious break across the field, and now a lead pass through. David Scuba. Looking for his brother, and Ref Jonkers was there, and you could see had instructions barked at him. No, don't allow that. Put that up and over him. Pick. <laughs> Belgians with another opportunity to grab the game's first break. This is going to stay with Gaetan Vandenbroek, but Vaislokes will get the opportunity to get into position on the mark. De Marais. Rolling to Jonkers, and Jonkers rifles it in there. Finds Georges Donnet, and the first break of the game goes the way of the Belgians. It's a two-point lead now at 5-3. to three. Just utilising that break side space well. 
I think the defender was expecting the cut to come towards the open side. And Donay, not interested in that at all. I'm free here. Why would I move? Paul goes up from De Marais. It's a little push off there to Vysokis. Gorgon underneath. Back into Vysokis' hands. Stavas underneath. Divider. Gorba. Oh, that scuba's floaty. And Ref Yonkers charges through. Leads De Marais into the end zone. Three on the spin for the Belgians now from 3 all to 6-3. Trying to assert a measure of control here. The boys in black. Just ruling and dominating the skies there, Ref Yonkers. And De Marais just watches it all the way into his lap. 6-3, the Belgians lead. And Lithuania using the opportunity here to take a timeout. Bit of a moral victory maybe as Hello, who's that who's emerged on the sideline on the far side? Well, I can tell you, you might see him there on the right-hand side of your picture in the red jersey. That is Benjamin Zwartz, who we saw him leave the venue on a stretcher during the previous Belgian game after he collided with the bleachers at the back of one of the end zones. And having him return could be a potential big boost because he was very influential with the disc in their first game this morning. I'd be surprised if he would uh, maybe take part in this game, but it is still a big mental boost for them, at least. Here's <laughs> Yonkers ripping that scuba down for De Marais. Lithuanians taking their timeout, by the way. Uh, both teams get one one-minute timeout per game. Has to be taken between points and cannot be taken within five minutes of the time cap. Lithuania choosing to use theirs here. And you see why, because they need to get a bit of fire back in the belly and also get their offence back on track as that pulls a shade too high. Slobodskoyas bringing in from the brick mark. He's got Vysokis for company close by. And he goes straight into the backfield and takes that to get the play going. Slobodskoyas. Players jinking and jiving, trying to squirrel their way free. Vysokis catches the reset. Bit of contact downfield, it seems. Contested foul away from the disc. Does say with Vysokis. Brought in. Robert Skoyas. Reset to Vysokis. Another foul call. I think this time maybe a little bit of a push off is the argument. Slap of hands. Back in play. Scoobering to Goba towards the far sideline. Got a one on one in the end zone, but he doesn't want it. Vasokis calling for a little bit of help. Still must be riding no underneath off to Slobodskoyas. Does feel like the Belgians are forcing them into high stall counts. Van den Broek bid didn't get there, left him out of position. Strubis finds Gorba and then one to the other. Dovidas to Modestas. Lithuania back on the board at 6 4. Boy, did the Lithuanians need that. Belgians really making them work for it. But they stayed patient and eventually they got the job done. Zubovicius. 
has the disc in his hands for the pull, floating it towards the opposite end zone. Delace catching, finding Bonton. Here's Ben Yonkers. Blading it to the end zone for his brother Uref, who pops up for the catch. And just places the disc on his head in celebration. Battle of the brothers out here. And Ben and Ref currently having the advantage up 7-4. Just they know, they don't even necessarily have to look. There is just the trust and the faith that that disc is going to go up. Demare with the pull that's caught in the end zone. First pass goes to Vysokis, blading it over the top. Savardes Goba. Slobodskoyas. Modestas Goba. The rising stall count. And um, I think we need a replacement disc. Oh, don't you dare. Well fielded by an Irish man. Run that back end zone. Oh, it's, oh, it's hand blocked and tipped into the hands of Slobodskoyas. I may have seen three, four of those hand-blocked hammers that have somehow ended up in players' hands. I don't think any of them may be quite as spectacularly as that one. And Slobodskoyas has it now. Oh, and the sultry scuba to the end zone for the score. Oh, love that. What a point! Maron. This scuba is downright disgusting. I love it. What a throw that is. How do you defend against that? Zubovicius with the pull. Spappens. We'll field it underneath Ben Yonkers. Behin. Coffee and Bonton. I thought that could have gone. Instead, he's going towards the far side. A little bit of an adjustment made, but still caught. Now Yonkers fakes high, pushes off, running the one two. They can keep throwing and going in the backfield if they please. Trying to get that spacing right downfield. Behin is poached. They will utilize that. Delays, pushing back to Yonkers. Bontomp now occupies the end zone, and he's got a little bit of company there with Delays, and Delays finds that soft spot, and Behin puts it on him for the score. Second goal of the game for Andrew Delays. Let's see. Another shot on the replay. The offhand, backhand there from Yonkers. It's good occupation. Bontomp there at the back of the end zone. He's drawing the defender over away. And that leaves the space at the front of the end zone. Utilising the full depth there, the Belgians. 8-5, one point away from half. That three-point run in the middle of the half. The difference between the sides at the moment, that surely is a pick. And it was not recent. It was a fair old while ago. Stays here with Denisa Slobodskoyas. Scoobering again. Oh, it snuck its way through the fingers of Davidis Galba. Eel. Here's the reset, Demesmaker. Ref Yonkers 
Hammering over the top to Di Mare, catching it over his head, throwing it to the floor in celebration. That is the 9-5 half-time lead. Belgium looking in phenomenal form. You did get the feeling that maybe based on their previous performances, they had extra gears to go into. They're showing more of that in this contest. Jonkers to Di Mare takes us into half with Belgium 9-5 to the good. Coach Richard Asarekis, one of the tournament organizers for this wonderful event. Just giving some instructions, I can see, to the Lithuanians. The Belgian lads getting instructions as well. We're seeing some of the highlights from that scintillating first half here in Prinai. One of multiple venues being used for the European Ultimate Indoor Championships. Belgium breaking the half-time huddle. Lithuania doing the same. <laughs> Lithuania begin the second half on offense. Don't field the pool cleanly, but the drop rule pools work differently indoors, so as long as you make a valid attempt to catch it, you're fine. Bachkis contest, uh, contacted as he makes the catch. Accepted foul, everyone just going to get back into position. Gaitan van den Broek on the mark. Checked in. Inside throw to Vysokis. Maybe the change in personnel will do the trick for Lithuania. Vysokis in the red zone now. Trying to attack the far side and a cheeky little scuba through, but I think that is a pick. So, go on the board. Looking for the option. Demare was trying to undercut the route, but he couldn't get there. And Vasokis punching it in to Davidas Galba for the score. Six nine, the game very nicely poised at the moment, I think. That one over the top towards the back of the end zone. Sophie M. Bontemps catching it. There's a travel cord on the throw. This one might come back. Have a look at the replay. Make the mind up for yourself. And he does leave that. That left foot does leave the floor to lean over to the right. Just discussing the stall. Jonkers faking it again. It's dead. Scoobering over to Spappens on the far side. Behin. Into that central space for Delace. Yonkers. Yonkers. Oh, the low scuba. There's an ambitious shot. Running through to knock it down. Mantas Subavicius, the first turnover of the game for Belgium's O line. And Zuba Vicious will pick up the disc now as well. Nice inside shot to the front of that stack downfield. Dividas Goba. 
Kribis gets the underneath march on Bonton. Back to Goba. Blading across. Oh, I love that throw from Mendelis. Was that the lefty backhand blade? Audacious in the extreme and effective to boot as well. Very excited to watch this again on the replay. He sees the step there. Oh, it is the lefty as well. What a delivery, a peach of a throw from Mendelis to Zubovicius, who catches the score for the double happiness in the bookends. 7-9 now. Whatever half-time adjustments Lithuania made, they seem to be doing the trick. But there's still a fair bit of work for them to do. Ref Yonkers. Underneath to his brother Ben. And working that trick back up line. The two of them seem unstoppable at times. Ref to Ben. Back to ref for the score. Just uses the momentum to get in front up the line. They clear that space out nicely as well. 10-7, the Belgians lead, scoring their first point of this second half. Slobodskoyas fields the pull. First pass to Vysokis and the blade is to Mendelis. And he's getting hammered to over the top. Oh, I thought he timed his jump a little bit too early, but credit to him for staying focused and watching the disc into his hands, because I know players who after they misjudged it would have, would have left it, would have let it go. But Mindalgas Mendelis knew it was still there. And Modestas Goba over the top. Whoop. The retention of concentration to be lauded there. Vesokis with the pull. Getting a lot of work in this second half. Pull doesn't quite go through that two meter box. So Spappens will bring it from the brick. You can see they've got Zuba Vicious poaching off just to gum up that lane downfield. Spappens picks it up and they switch defensively. Good communication. Ref Yonkers underneath. Oh, he's looking for the expansive play to Bon Tom. He loses the shoe. But he keeps the disc! How about that? I have to question how tight his laces are done up. But what a grab. Ref, with all the faith in the world, the defender comes through, had no sight of the disc. That could really have been a hefty collision. But Bon Tom stuck with it, despite the fact his shoe did not. And Bon Tom with a highlight reel play. 11 8 to Belgium. Golba, he's looking for the hammer to Mendelis again. This time he times his jump to perfection. Lithuania, quick strike offense, 9 11. If you wondered whether the first, whether the uh, the half time might have taken any of the momentum, any of the sting and intensity out of this game, nope, it's still there. It's still simmering along nicely. This contest, quick pull that Spappen's misfields. Barakas puts the force on right at the back corner of the end zone. I think there was a little bit of a bump there. But Ref Yonkers makes the catch and he overthrows his brother Ben. Lithuania can come within one here. Dividers Goba. That one coming through. Ooh, a collision there. Justas Bobina was the target. Delay saw the throw coming. 
tried to step and get in there first. Here's the replay. It happened so quick, a real bang, bang play, as they say. Bovina and Deleis engaged in discussion. Hello to the 200 of you watching the streams here. Hopefully you've been enjoying our coverage so far today. A reminder that it continues, another 36 games for you tomorrow. Wolfos just made a face next to me as if he didn't realise how much frisbee there was. As Goulburn knifes over the top. A little bit of discussion between Yonkers and Gorba. But the score is good. Dividas Gorba just knifing that one over the top. Domantas Sturbis with the catch. Hammer pull that Jonkis couldn't catch, but picks it up. And there's the scuba from Dimare to ref Jonkis. They can really stack those lines when they need to, the Belgians. Dimare to Jonkis, an all-star score there for the Belgians. 12-10. Two more games after this one here today from Prinai. A couple more at our other venue we're streaming today in Galava. Here's the scuba towards the end zone. Oh my goodness, what a snatch that is. Sensational. And the presence of mind from Mendelis just to take the reset. Will they get stuck outside the end zone? Stall count rising by Sokis. Does find Mendelis. Goba comes out of the end zone. Oh, I thought he was going to try and cram that through. No, it's the blade over the top. Dimare can get up, but even he could not get up for that. Slap of hands to Modestas Goba, who got the better of him on that occasion. Lithuania staying just the one behind. 11-12 is the score. Really patient red zone offense. You know, the two Gobas combine. Dovidas finding Modestas for the score. By the way, the Sweden Netherlands game in the women's division and our other pitches of Corker as well. So maybe that's one to, to bookmark for later. <laughs> Ref Yonkers. <laughs> just about fits that one in past Emilis Barakas into Sofie Bonton for the score. I mean, they're going to have been the narrowest of windows. But Jonkers hit it. And Bonton is so valuable all over the field, but especially in the end zone. Has that timing and that awareness and the placement. It's a game of millimetres at times. Scuba flipped over the top, nice grab by Vysokis. I wondered if he might have done himself a mischief on landing, but he's good to go. Underneath Mendelis making the catch with one hand, the blade to the far side of the end zone. 12-13. Lithuania are not going away, are they? They are not going away. 
Mindagas Mendeles to Modesta Scalba for the score. Five minutes left on the clock. And it really doesn't look like one side is going to pull away here. We thought that the Belgians might have done going into the half. They had a 5-9, a 9-5 half-time lead, but it's reduced all the way down to the one. Can the Lithuanians get themselves level? Deleis catching the pull. Past the poaching defender into Jonkers' hands and from one Jonkers to the other. Ben Blades to Bonton. Deleis. Ref Jonkers underneath. Lovely throw and go to get round the mark. Faking the knife to the end zone. Over the top. Oh, just about fits it in to Sophie M. Bonton. Just about fits it in there. And as long as it sticks, I don't think Belgium will mind how. Fourteen twelve. Belgium are playing this game in the margins. You see it there, Bonton just leaking through. And of the disc was maybe a little bit behind him. He might have overrun it slightly. But he got his hand set and made the catch. Vysokis wanted the hammer over the top instead scubas towards the far sideline Mendelis Slobodskoyas another scuba they're utilizing that break space well woof that is an absolute heater deep was it in the end zone I think he might have landed on the back line he has just the flick with too much fire Lithuania's first turnover of the second half. Can the Belgians pounce? Van den Broek watches it all the way in. Underneath, huge bit from Vysokis comes through but doesn't get there. De Marais wanted the inside channel instead going back into the backfield. Fella. De Marais. Belgium know that they don't need to push things here, they can be patient, they can be circumspect. They have all the time in the world, as Louis Armstrong might say. De Maré back to Fella, opening up that spot in front of the end zone. Well, Tim Esmaker stays patient and eventually finds Georges Donnet, Belgium's first break of the second half. And they have reopened their three-point lead, 15-12. This late in the piece, could that be the decisive blow? Just a couple of minutes before the cap comes on. Time is very much of the essence for the Lithuanians. Catching the ball, Shalasa Vicious. Now is it back in his grasp? Vasokis, it feels like he's played every point in this game. Trying to lead Shalasa Vicious to, um, down the far sideline, does that well. Golba, shooting with the hammer over the top. Last time his deep shot was overcooked. This time he judges it to perfection. Dropping into the bucket of Stirbis for the score. Number three, now has three goals to his name for the Lithuanian Stavontas. Sturbis. Spappens catches at the back of the end zone. Toted on the far sideline by De Marais. Back to Ben Yonkers. Oh, there's the bid. Doesn't get there. Yonkers just keeps his feet on the sideline. 
and someone's got the basketball style mop to mop up the sweat. Hashtag legitimacy. That's the buzzer, by the way. It's a very, really does sound like a truck horn, doesn't it? I like it. Damare. Oh, air underneath this one. Bonton reads it well. Baracas tried to get in there earlier, but Bonton's position was true. A couple of players in the end zone for the Belgians. They, again, do not look rushed. Spappens runs the 1 2 with Yonkers. On the end zone line, Yonkers to Bonton. There's a call. If the calls are travel, his left foot's definitely on that line, which is fine. This is going to stay with Yonkers. I wonder if he's tempted just to jam it back in there to Bonton. Or Spappens. Yeah, why not? Just a little push there. Got in front of the defender. Makes it 16-13. If Lithuania want the win here, it has to be four on the spin. And there is no other way. With that being said, how do you manage your roster? Can you afford to put the same five players out there, point after point? You have to know how much they've got left in the tank. We have to be honest and realistic about it. Sakovic, we haven't really seen this game, but nice give-go run there, wants to blade over the top. Dimare read the eyes all the way, peels off, intercepts, Bonton. De Messmaker, swinging to Di Mare. Underneath, Van den Broek. Here's De Messmaker, I thought he could have forced it to Bontemps, but they just, again, at the, end of the end, at the end of the game, they've been so patient and they got their rewards there. Cool as you like, and he's gonna do the fake the hamstring. No one's buying that at this point, we've seen it all before. Needs to go to acting class on that one. But Demare catches the dish from Bonton. And Belgium take the victory 17 13. A statement win here. For the Belgians. They have come to play. And they have come to maybe take it all home one of the some of the keenest eyes watching that will be over on the far sideline the Latvian open lads have stayed around to watch that game and they had an absolute treat and I think they know that they might well end up playing the Belgians in the semi-finals or the finals and so I want to make get, get every single bit of information about that really see if they can understand what makes them tick 17-13 is the final score here. Belgium over Lithuania. Still have two games left for you here today. More Lithuanian ac action up next. Their second side against Ireland. At one point, that could have been a game to decide who made the top eight. As it is, it's just to decide bottom bracket seeding. And then last game of the day. In a little over an hour's time, it's Austria versus Slovakia in Pool D. But why you can sit back and enjoy this highlight reel from a intense, superb game between Belgium and Lithuania. The final score is Belgium 17, Lithuania 13. On behalf of the Ulti TV and Zoom TV crews, Benji Reese saying that we'll see you on the other side.
Unity.tv. Oh